No, we have to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Tebo Khanong. I'm a multifaceted writer and filmmaker. My biggest challenge that like, I experienced in my creative process would be just like my inner voice, you know, because I feel like my inner critic can sometimes be like really judgmental. Like seriously, like do you really think this is good enough? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, so it's like how can I change that inner voice to like just be more kinder, more accepting, you know, like just more free. I guess my inner voice has adopted like society's way of speaking to people. So now that's what I hear within, like, you know, the sense that that's just like, you know, perfection, 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 perfection. And like, you got to do this and that and that. And I need to like recondition myself to be like, no, dude, like you can have a kind of inner voice, you know, you can really like be nicer to yourself because you're doing a good job. Like you really are, you know, try not to think about subjectivity or objectivity, just like think about honesty, you know, and that's really the voice that comes to me. I think because my work is so centered on self-development or my life is so dedicated to self, self-development, self like those are the conversations I'd like my work to bring up because I always feel like I'm not trying to take anybody to the promised land but I'd like to bring people back to themselves and I feel like as yourself like you're the you're your best teacher you know because your life is literally showing you the way so yeah definitely those are the conversations I want people to have like looking at themselves and thinking oh damn I am great or oh I could work on this or I've never seen things in that way or I've never questioned myself in that way and taking accountability as well you know what I'm saying because it's like often we're just not ready for those conversations so it's like how can I better myself you know without looking at things that are external and looking at other people but how can I develop myself and how can I start those conversations within people. My two favorite songs that like literally help me transition into any season or phase is Diana Ross, I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> and um, Hua Billy, Closer to My Dreams. Yes, they all make sense. Like whatever phase I'm transitioning into, I'm just like, firstly, I'm coming out as a new me, and I'm about to do this, and I'm closer to my dreams, so y'all better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> What's currently brewing in my life right now? So there's a few things I'm cooking, right? <laughs> so I'm cooking a film um, called Transmute, right? That's set to come out next year. <laughs> you can follow it at uh, Transmute Short Film on Instagram. Um, and it's really just like a story um, exploring the intricacies of interrupted childhood right and just like <laughs> and what does that look like what does confronting interrupted childhood look like in adulthood right um especially when it has to do with familial adversities so that's why it's called transmute because how do you alchemize that how do you transform within that space within your family you know how do you confront it's it's super easy you know to read stuff on instagram but like actually going home and facing you know those hurts and being open and like completely honest is difficult so i really wanted to tell that story you know to this character this woman who's just has to go into herself and who has to learn to be less passive and actually speak her mind you know but what happens if that's too late but what does it mean when the thing that you centered, you know, has to shift? What does it look like to be at, at the center of your own life and not putting your pain at the center of your life? And that's really something I wanted to explore with the story. So I really hope people will follow the journey, journeying to transmute. So I think that should be the hashtag, but that's really what I'm working on now. And um, a poetry book anthology, um, my second one. Um, which is coming out soon, <laughs> soon. Um, but um, in that book, what I was exploring is 
really alchemy, like we said before. Um, my, my previous book, my first book, The Truth Shall Bloom, which just turned two, by the way. Um, I'm really happy about that journey because it was really about asking questions and figuring out what truth is and actually then realizing that truth is whatever it is. My truth is not your truth, you know, and I can't um, fight with you about that. So that's what I realized in like my new book and my new work, you know, that alchemy, the darkness, you know, understanding that you can't be a light worker if you're not doing shadow work. You can't say, hey, there's light and embracing light, but if you're not gonna embrace the darkness and face it and look at those repressed things within you, you know what I mean? Because they follow you. They follow you everywhere, you know? Like your coping mechanisms, your, all those things, your habits are literally informed by those things in the darkness that you don't face. So writing about that and writing poetry about that was very important to me and I hope people receive it well, you know. And another thing I've been interested in is just journaling. So I'm hoping to just like release like a little workbook um, called Create Your Purpose. I'm still thinking about it, if it should be Create Your Purpose or Navigate Your Purpose, but just like something where I'm not telling you what to do, but you're speaking to yourself, right? And I'm just questioning because that's what I like to do for myself. I feel like if you ask the right questions, then you can get to those really nice um, answers about yourself. So in creating this sort of like journal prompt, type of book and just allowing people to get there by themselves i felt that was really important and yeah i'm hoping to release that too maybe it'll be in january or whenever because i feel like in any time the beginning is any time you know november can be your january right so 